back to the channel where it is the 3rd of April I'm nine and a half weeks out my weight is up enormously which is weird I don't know why it's literally jumped up two kilos over two days the only thing I can think of is that it's hormonal I kind of feel like maybe I am PMSing uh, I felt extremely tired yesterday um, there's some other bodily functions happening that kind of usually are an indication of me potentially being due on my period Regardless, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to do a full day of eating today, so just watch this for your information only. I have a coach, he changes my diet all the, around all the time. In fact, he's up my food quite a lot. M maybe this is why I've gained a bit of weight, I don't know. Um, so my first meal is my pre-workout meal, which is 100 grams of cream of rice with 30 grams of whey. I did make this yesterday so that I could just get eat it, warm it up and go. Um, my post-workout will be a protein shake, 40 grams of whey. And then I'll have my first proper meal when I come back. I will film in the gym, but I'll film with my phone because I need to get food shopping and I really want to do a sauna. I was going to do it yesterday, but the cold plunge wasn't working and I kind of see, don't see the point of doing only sauna. I mean, like it is good, but it's better with the cold plunge. So basically I will, after training, go to sauna and then I'd also need to swing past the food shop to get a couple of bits from Lidl that they don't do in the Hitmax where I normally go to. So I am, uh, I've got lots of bags and I don't want to carry my camera and my tripod. It's like, it's a whole thing. It's quite big and it's cumbersome. So uh, I'll do some filming in the gym with my camera, with my phone. Uh, I'm going to my boyfriend's tonight. Uh, I'll come back on Friday. So it's only for like a whole day, but I'll show you also how I prepare for that. And that's it really. So I do need to start going because it's seven o'clock. By the time I get to the gym, I get training at 730 I'd like to be back here, ideally before lunchtime, before 11 if I can. So yeah, um, I guess I should talk about how I'm feeling. Earlier in the week I was feeling really good. I was feeling like I was looking freaking awesome. But now that, I'm not gonna lie, now that my weight is shot up, I don't feel as great. I feel like I am actually holding a lot of water. Granted, I had a very heavy training yesterday. Um, so maybe it's from that, but at the moment, I feel I feel puffy um, and I'm, I am holding water I can feel it I can see it and I'm thinking it is to do with something with my hormones which it is what it is in a way it's good that if I get my period that I'm still getting it even though I'm on performance enhancers and stuff but it's also annoying because I just hold a lot of water from it so but what can you do nothing so I'm gonna go now I'll see you in the gym Right, so we're doing a little car vlog before going to the shop. 
Um, I am pretty sure I'm PMSing because I feel like I've been on the verge of crying this whole morning. Uh, everything that can go wrong is going wrong, which is usually a telltale sign that I am PMSing. Uh, I am just... Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I look like crap because I'm holding a lot of water. Um, that's not just in my head. Like, I am holding water. I can tell by my definition. Uh, my nipples are really sensitive. That's also usually a sign. I'm very irritable, which is also a sign. Uh, I sleep like shit, which is also a sign. And, like, literally everything that can go wrong is going wrong today. To a point where it's just, like, it's almost a joke. Like, I'm... I'm I'm surprised if I'm not going to break a leg later or something like that. Uh, I broke a foam roller. Uh, all of the bars that I wanted to use were busy. So I had to like train with a shit bar. I forgot my water. I um, I cut myself pretty bad shaving. I dropped my glass shampoo bottle that shattered everywhere. Uh, and, uh, including on my foot. So just, and this is like, it's not even 11 o'clock yet. Anyway, I've got to go because I've got no space left in my phone. So I need to delete some chats. I don't need to get some food shopping now, so I'll be back when I get home. Oh, Alright, so I'm back home. I'm going to do a little bit of work. And then I'm going to try and just relax a little bit for today because I'm feeling really emotional. Like, I'm feeling really overwhelmed. Um, I... It's really annoying because every time I'm trying to, like, even this is fucking, like, it's all actually making me want to cry. Because, it, and it's so stupid, because it's over nothing. This is, like... This is how I can tell I'm like emotional. But basically, I just feel like every time I do these full days of eating, I'm supposed to show you like how it's going in my prep and you know, like how it's, I'm supposed to show you like how what I'm eating and every time I do it, like something's happening. So I'm not eating really as per my plan because something's coming up. And I can tell you already that today, if I can sleep at lunch, I can, I'm gonna do that because I'm so tired. I've been awake since 2.30. By the way, another thing that went wrong is I've got a filling and I was flossing my teeth last night and it came out. So on top of everything else, I now have to find a dentist so I can obviously get my filling filled back up. And I know it's just a minor thing, but like, you know when you just have a day where everything can go wrong? And I know it's going to annoy me because food's going to get stuck in there, but that's whatever. Um, my point is, is that I'm going to have to sleep at lunch because I'm so tired and I'm, the, the tiredness is making me actually not hungry sometimes i'm more hungry when i'm tired but this kind of tiredness exhaustion with feeling anxious and overwhelmed and just emotional it completely kills my appetite so i feel bad because i'm trying to show you my full days of eating and like when i'm not on when i don't feel like this and like it's fine like getting my food and it's not a problem but every time i do these fucking full days of eating i feel like crap and like i'm not eating the way i should be eating and i can tell you today it's not going to happen because I just, I just, the thought of food is just not, it's just not remotely appealing to me. And I'm not going to force feed myself, and I know I should, because I'm in a prep and all of that, but I'm cutting, so I'm not that worried about it. I'm not bulking, but... It's just like every time something comes up, and it's typical that it just ends up being like that, but this is just the reality, like, this is it. This is the reality of things, right? And like, I know I'm being a bit of a drama queen, but like, you know when you're just like PMSing and everything's just going wrong and annoying and the weather shit again as well like that's another thing i went yesterday walking in a t-shirt 22 degrees celsius 12 degrees celsius today cloudy gonna rain later and it's just like it's just like it just feels like today the planets are aligned to just make me feel miserable so what what i can do is to a like try not to feel too fucking sorry for myself which i'm struggling i'm trying to I'm trying to not victimize myself, and I know I am, but I'm trying not to, so I'm working on that. I really, really need to sleep at lunch, um, even if it's for an hour or two, and I need to minimize my workload today. Uh, and I guess this is where I should be grateful, because obviously I do work for myself, so I can manage my workload a lot better than most other people. It's not like I have to sit at a desk from 9 to 5. Um, so, that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm not going to see my boyfriend on the weekend anyway. Um, I might see him for lunch or something like that. But I'm not going to be with him on the weekend because he needs to go to dinners. So I'm going to be working on weekend. Because that's what I do on the weekend. If I'm not seeing him, I just end up doing some work. And then I don't mean all day long. But I'm going to do some work. Because I always do some work on Sunday anyway. 
But I'll probably end up doing some work, doing some editing, doing some live streaming, working on some plans, emails, etc. So maybe I just need to take a step back today. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, I'm gonna just what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish edit. I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna edit a pre-recorded video that shouldn't take too long to edit. And then I'm gonna try and eat something. And then I'm going to sleep, take the dogs for a big walk, do a couple of emails, and then just prepare for going to Alex. There's like some cleaning I wanted to do in here. I could pull a hoover through here. I wanted to mop the floors, but I'll do that on Friday. Like whether I do it today or Friday it doesn't really make a difference. I wanted to clean the bathroom again. I'll do that on the weekend. Yeah, that's it really. So, I'm sorry that... I don't know, even know why I'm sorry, this is part of vlogging in it, this is what's going to happen. But I feel bad because I keep meaning to show you my true days of eating and every time I do, it's just not happening. And I'm I'm just busy with clients and everything during the weeks that I don't think about. Um, like doing TikToks and, you know, and I know I should be making more TikToks and I can do reels and stuff, but... I kind of forget about it, I'm busy, and then I, it's just like another thing to do. Like, I don't want to, when I finish my work day, spend half an hour editing a TikTok, you know? So, anyway, I'm going to shut up and do this freaking edit so that it's over and done with, basically. All right, it's not much later, but I am so tired. I can't concentrate. So I'm just going to eat something and then maybe try a nap, and then I'll try and do some work after, because... There is no point now. Like, I I really, really, I really need sleep. Look at the state of my eyes, how red they are. I feel awful. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to uh, make food. It's going to be 50 grams of oats, 20 grams of whey, 150 grams of egg whites, 100 grams of pineapple, 15 grams of almond butter. I'll show you when it's finished. I, I, I can't bother to film the whole making of it. I've made it a million times and it's going to be the same thing again, basically. So here is my oats with uh, almond butter. I ate the pineapple already. Um, it's kind of like this consistency. I put some psyllium husks through there as well just to bind it a bit more. I'll also start doing a little bit of editing whilst I'm eating this because it takes a while to eat because it's kind of hot. And then, um, then I'm going to go to bed because I desperately, desperately need sleep. Right. I've just woken up and I've been dead to the world for like a solid 45 minutes, which is a lot for me. If I nap more than 10 minutes, it's a really big nap. Um, it's quarter past one now. I'm gonna try and do some work and then I'm gonna try and eat something. And then I need to take the dogs for a walk. At two, around two o'clock, which I will do, and I'll try and eat before then. I'll probably eat maybe at like quarter to two. Get some emails out of the way first, I think, is the plan. I feel like I could have slept more, but obviously, I need to work. But yeah, it was a good nap. So I just finished eating my second proper meal of the day, which was, uh, it's supposed to be 180 grams of steak, but I, um, I don't want to spend the money to basically put 180 grams of steak in because it's kind of expensive. So I did 130 grams of steak with an egg and I also had 10 grams of butter to make up for the fats because it's a link out of steak. Uh, I had that with some, um, cool, not coleslaw. Cool Sauerkraut and gherkin and some uh, custard, custard, mustard. I mean, they're the same color, kind of sound the same too. So now I'm gonna 
Walk this trouble. Shall we go for pee pee? Yeah, we need to go for pee pee, huh? Rosie too, of course, and then I need to come back and finish my check-ins. I was wondering why so many of my Phoenix Rising clients hadn't checked in and it turns out that I accidentally deleted some emails. Because I opened a, a check-in that came through earlier this morning and then I could see restore deleted items. And I don't know how this happens, so I wonder if sometimes the cat accidentally walks on my keyboard and maybe deletes things. This is a possibility. Because uh, she does jump on the desk while I'm not there. So, uh, I'll finish that when I come back. And this is supposed to be my last meal of the day as well, but I'm gonna, I wanna eat carbs before I go to bed and when I'm over at Alex's. So, uh, I'm gonna uh, do the dog walks now. Then when I come back, I'm gonna just finish my emails and then I'm gonna start packing and getting ready for him. Which is like, I don't need to do a lot, but honestly, like, I just feel like I need to uh, have a bit more of a relaxed day for, for my for my own sanity to keep my cortisol levels in control somewhat so that's exactly what I'm gonna do and uh, it's really annoying that hole in my teeth that filling does come out now I keep getting food stuck in there so I need to pick plenty pack plenty of toothpicks the the flosser ones with the pick so I can keep that clean because otherwise I'm just gonna be forever trying to pick things out of my tongue uh, so yeah, that's it really. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm finished with my emails and now I'm gonna pack my stuff for when I go to Alex. Which is, I'll, I'll wear this when I go because I can't bother to put on anything fancy for now because I'm gonna get there and it's be comfy. I'll pack a proper outfit for tomorrow and gym clothes and um, then I need to sort my food out. So I'll time lapse the packing of the clothes and I'll show you what I packed once I've done it. Alright, so what I'm packing is my makeup, portable charger, my posing shoes and posing suit, practice suit, my headphones, uh, just casual wear for when I go out tomorrow to get my Botox done, underwear, sports bras, sports stuff in general, trainers will be in my sports bag, my gym bag, and I've got a laptop in there as well, as well as some other toiletries. So I'm just gonna have a, a quick food break and then uh, I've got two more meals left to eat after this which I will eat when I get to Alex. Um, this is 200 grams of rice and I'm having 150 grams of egg white with 10 grams of whey. Uh, I'm, because this morning I'm supposed to have like 40 grams of whey and I had 30 so I've got 10 grams of whey left over just for a bit of flavour. I just flavoured this with some uh, cinnamon and sweetener, pineapple in here as well. Uh, I just like having it like this. I don't know, it's just one of those meals that I'm really obsessed with at the moment and I don't want to have chicken and rice and pineapple, I want to eat this. It's just one of those things, like when you're prepped, you just get really fixated with certain meals and this is one of them. So, I'm gonna eat this. Um, and then I've got to check in soon and then I'm gonna continue packing. I'm pretty much done, I just need to sort my food out, which is gonna take seconds. Whilst I was making this, I prepped all of my pills as well. So I've got my evening pills, my morning pills for the next couple of days sorted too. I'm not going to show the time lapse of this, I will eat this, basically. Alright, so this is all the food I'm taking with me. I've got some beans and olives, chicken in there. Uh, this is for post-workout. These protein puddings are actually really, they're basically the same as my shake. Um, they have just a little bit more fat and slightly more carbs, but really hardly anything. So, if anything, I can cut a little bit of carbs from my rice, like 50 grams of carbs from my rice in order to compensate, which is normally what I do. Got my pills, got some of this chicken because it's very tasty, but it's kind of high in salt, so I, don't, I, I only have like half a serving mixed in with my other chicken. Uh, a lemon to go through my drink. 
rice that's cooked up. I've got some other rice to cook up if I need to. Cream of rice, some whey protein, um, pineapple, coffee because he's got this coffee machine and I drink a lot of coffee. Cucumbers because that's pretty much the only vegetable I'm eating at the moment because, I don't know, I just like it. It's kind of an obsession that I'm having. Apple cider vinegar and uh, pre-workout. So I've got a bottle of, oh, and the sugar-free barbecue sauce. And this is for the dogs, uh, for the wipes that uh, I've got for their paws. Even though they're not coming now, I'll take it with me anyway. So, that's basically it. So, as you can see, every time I go see him, even though it's for one, two nights, one full day, it's literally a whole ordeal because, well, basically, I can't bother to go there and just spend lots of time cooking if I've got everything cooked up here already. And then whatever is left over, I'll just bring back with me. guys it is the next morning i didn't end up filming much yesterday because by the time i got to my boyfriend's i was just really tired and we just basically spent the evening cuddling and watching tv and i didn't really feel like filming and um, the only thing i ate was the chicken with rice that i showed you it was 150 grams of chicken 200 grams of rice uh, and some vegetables i had a little bit of cucumber green beans and olive with calorie free sugar free barbecue sauce so, uh, and after that, I pretty much went to bed. I actually missed an entire meal, but I'm not surprised I did. However, I feel like I'm looking good for it today. Uh, very good, actually. So, I don't know what my weight's doing. I'm now going to go home to walk the dogs. And I'll weigh myself when I'm there. But th this is the end of this particular full day of eating. Because now I will resume the, the weekly vlog. They'll be up probably on Sunday, I guess. So... If you've made it this far, insert a... <sighs> Any emoji that you relate to hormones and monthly cycles. Um, comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.